<laughs> yeah, I remember. I didn't know his name, but I remember him. He used to have the bells, and he used to holler out. He had an old horse, and he was... I couldn't know his age at that time because I was, I was a kid. Must have been in his high sixties or seventies. I never, I never got his name, but he used to ride him around. Junk man, yeah, oh, horse and wagon. He had the bells about a block away, and then the horse would come plodding down the street. I seem to remember it was an old horse that was like sagging in the middle and pulling the wagon. The truck would have on it old mattresses, beds, and some furniture, and whatever people wanted to get rid of in those days. I remember the fish market with the large glass windows and going towards 29th Street was Jaime Rubin's fruit store. And they were there quite some time, both of them. There were kosher butchers all up and down Mermaid Avenue. Everything was, not, nothing was prepackaged. Everything was cut to order. There were a couple of markets, like I say, in my neighborhood, Majors and Pride, and you had Eagle and Sandler, and probably from Stillwell to Seagate, I would guess there were at least a dozen kosher meat markets on Mermaid Avenue. The good human men, there was three different ways that you had them on the Mermaid Avenue. You had the bicycle one, you had the guy with like a push cart, and you had the truck. Yeah, he'd be pedaling up the street, and he had a bell, he would ring the bell. Between 33rd and 35th, there was a, a laundrette there, you know. And the opposite corner, going towards Seagate, there was a, a, a small grocery store. That was on the big hardware store, but it had a big red sign on top, and they had everything. It was on the corner of 33rd and Mermaid. Greenwalds was on the corner of 32nd Street and Mermaid Avenue. Well, it was a kosher deli that featured like matzo ball soup, chicken noodle soup, and then hot pastrami, hot corned beef, and brisket, and sour pickles, and fresh French fries. It was a very good deli. One of the owners was named Phil, Phil Greenwald. And I used to eat there all the time between uh, um, Rosenberg's and Greenwald. And I used to go further up the block there was a kosher bakery there. The name of it was Myerson's. My mother always used to send me to get rye bread and pumpernick bread. I remember that place too. And then the Italian bakery was on 15th and uh, Mermaid where we buy our Italian bread. This mirror's famous pumpernickel. Let me see. My mommy buys in Myerson's. That was their slogan. <laughs> and Bernstein's Bakery was the other one. Those were the two famous Jewish bakeries. Right on the corner of 33rd and Mermaid, there was a candy store there, an old-fashioned candy store. Used to sell it by the pound. You know, you go in, you buy a pound of nuts, a pound of raisins. Big selection of fresh candy, like raisins and apricots prunes and nuts. I remember I used to go there all the time. And then across the street, I didn't tell you about Happy's. Happy's was a, 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 an old time luncheonette where a lot of uh, people in their 20s and they used to meet their dates there and, and they used to get a, a guy outside shining shoes or was a nickel shine. Hmm. That was across the street from the Mermaid Theater. That was owned by Sam Horowitz. He was uh, some kind of politician or councilman. Yeah. I met, I met, I, I remember I met him through my brother who was a rabbi and he was friendly with Sam. But the most famous place in that area was the Hubba Hubba. That was on the corner of 28th Street and Mermaid Avenue. And that was where all the, the inn people ate. It was very, very good. And then across the street, diagonally, there was uh, the Mermaid Chop House that was owned by Bert Brand, who was a personal friend of Sandy Koufax, and Sandy used to hang out in there quite often. Mermaid Avenue had everything you wanted. You had men's 
and boys and women's clothing stores. You had appliances. You had furniture. You had meat markets. You had groceries, fruit markets. You didn't really have to go anywhere else for anything. You could get everything you wanted on Mermaid Avenue. We bought our television set there. I bought my clothes there. Five and ten. Woolworths was it had it had everything you want. It was all there. Mermaid Avenue, Coney Island's main shopping district, suffered greatly from the effects of urban renewal during the 1970s, and it's taken several decades to recover. Of the hundreds of businesses that lined the avenue in the 1950s, only two survived into the 21st century. Major Market, operated by Jimmy Prince, opened in 1932 and closed in 2009. Stephen Feinstein's family founded Walensky Hardware 100 years ago, and the store is now celebrating its centennial in 2020. Walensky survives as the oldest store on Mermaid Avenue.